Good afternoon. Um, the city is operating, and uh, Patrick Dehaney was sworn in at noon as the acting city manager, um, and with the support of uh, Lieutenant Colonel Thiege and Captain Gramke, uh, and Vice Mayor Smitherman and I, uh, we just went in and expressed our care and concern uh, to the 911 operators and dispatchers. We uh, told them that we know that they are working hard every day for the city and that we will listen to them and we will provide the additional support and resources to make sure that we fix the systemic issues that we heard about earlier this week of lack of staffing, lack of support, uh, low morale, and high turnover. And um, we said this would be the first order of business, and so we came here uh, as soon as uh, Acting Manager Dehaney was sworn in. Um, I will say on a, on a personal note that I want to assure the public that we'll do everything and everything to improve the 911 system. And I also think it's important to understand that the people who are working as dispatch and phone calls on a day-in, day-out basis do love the city, they do work hard, and it has been a rough couple of weeks for them too. And so we assured them that we are supporting of them and of the critical mission that they provide. Uh, Manager Dehaney. I just want to say that I'm humbled and grateful for the opportunity to serve in this capacity as acting city manager, and I'm eager to start working with the mayor and the members of council to get the city through this time. Our team will be back on uh, it Monday at 2 o'clock where we will do an exhaustive tour um, and begin to, to look at our budget and the challenges that the 911 call center is having and, and relay that information uh, to the mayor and the city manager. So we'll be back at 2 o'clock on Monday. Very clear message to the mayor, the vice mayor, the city manager here. Law and public safety, again, a priority in this, this call center priority in your work moving forward. What are the next steps? So the next steps are to repair action plan that we're going to present to Law and Public Safety on April 30th and work out the action plan with Vice Mayor Smitherman and from there put it into action and implement and fix the situation that's going on at 911 Center. Mayor, is this your first time at the 911 Center since the Kyle Flusher uh, incident occurred? It's not my first time here, but yes. Why did it take two weeks to get out here? I mean, this, this seems like an issue that, you know, has gone nationwide. Uh, we've been, I've been working on it nonstop um, since the, uh, the tragic evening when we discovered 911, and sadly we weren't getting the feedback uh, uh, in the current leadership structure that we had. Uh, we needed a manager that was going to listen to people uh, and not criticize people who were coming forward and saying we have low morale, high turnover, and not enough resources. And let me add, as the vice mayor, on behalf of the mayor, I've been working with the captain and the colonel constantly obviously that we saw that at a hearing that we had so it's not that the mayor the manager or this team wasn't engaged it's just we've got a lot going on in the city uh, now mr johan's acting manager or uh is he on the list for interim manager i mean where, where do we go with the interim uh, city manager position you know it's been about a uh, half hour so. <laughs> <laughs> thank you can i ask one question sorry one more um, did you all have a chance to see the body cam video that was released yesterday? I saw it on TV. Yeah. So I haven't, I haven't been able to review it. I think it's unfair for me to respond because I want to know that I've seen the totality of it. So I've just seen a piece of it like most citizens have, um, what, what it was shown on TV. I think the, the full investigation has got to be completed before commenting on a specific element. But I think we've been saying from day one that we know the city uh, did not act in an ideal manner here, to say, it, uh, to say the least. And so there is, I've said from the beginning that uh, I blame myself, uh, and there's blame on all of us on this particular incident, uh, but moving forward, we've got to change the, the structure here. Okay, that's a wrap. Thanks. Thank you, Warren. Thank you. Thank you.